So we will be continuing with our stack and queue playlist. It was starting off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we are going to solve today is remove k digits. So what is the problem statement? The problem statement is you are given a string num which is containing the digits from 0 to 9. So you have this number and then there is a value k given to you. So your task is to remove k digits from this particular string such that the remaining string like after removing whatever is the converted string that is the smallest number possible for an example if i say that hey i'm going to remove 4 i'm going to remove 3 and maybe i'm i'll remove 1 because i'm only allowed to remove 3 digits so i'll remove these 3 digits so what number will i have i'll have something like 1 2 2 9 again this is a valid number but I need the smallest possible number. So what I will do is I'll say I'll remove 4, I'll remove 3, I'll remove 2. And if I do this, I'll end up with 1, 2, 1, 9. And this is the smallest number that I can get. You can try out all possible sorts of removal. But 1 to 1, 9 is the smallest that you will get. So how do I solve this particular problem? Like what will be my intuition or thought process? I'm looking for the smallest number, correct? So can I say, if I can keep the smaller digits at the start, if I can keep the smaller digits at the start, and if I can get rid, if I can get rid of the larger ones, get rid of the larger ones. And since I'm only allowed to get rid of k larger ones, I'll get rid of the k larger ones from the start. I think my job will be done. Quite simple intuition because it's a greedy approach. I'll try to make sure that the initial digits are as small as possible because the initial digits like make the number small. If I keep a 4 at the start, the number will never be small. But if I keep a 1 at the start, the number will be smaller. So the intuition is to keep the smaller digits at the start and get rid of the larger ones. And I can get rid of k larger ones. Fine. So. I ha I'll have to do these things at the start. So I'll start traversing from left to right. And I'll try to remove the larger ones. Fine. So I'll have to keep a track of it. So maybe I'll use a stack data structure. And initially this stack is empty. And I'm at 1. And I'm like, okay, if I don't have any elements, maybe I can say that 1 will occupy the initial positions of my number. Initial position of my number rather. And then I'll move to 4. And I'm like, okay, the initial position is occupied by 1. Shall I remove this? No, because I have 4. If I remove 1 and place 4, will that be will that be sensible? No. So I'll be like, maybe I can keep 4 as well. And after that, I get a 3. So when I get a 3, now imagine the number as of now is 1, 4. And if I keep 3, the number increases. Don't you think it will be better after 1 to place 3? Don't you think it's better to get rid of 4? Because it's a larger one. It's a larger one. I'm like, yes, it is better. So what I'll do is, I'll look at the top of the stack and it is a larger value. It is a larger value. So I'll simply get rid of it. I'll get rid of it. And remember, I have 3. Shall I get rid of 1? No, because if I get rid of 1 and place a 3, it will be of no sense. So I'll say, okay, I can keep 3 at the second position. Remember, you removed one larger element. So now you have only two elements that you'll have to remove. Perfect. So I'll get into the next two. So whenever I have a two, whenever I have a two, I look at the stack's top element. And he's saying, okay, I'm three, I'm three. So it's like one, three. So don't you think it's better to place two over here? It's better. So I'll be like, Yes, it is better. So I'll end up removing this. And I've removed one more, so k will be 1. Now, will it be better? Will it be better to remove 1? To remove 1 and place this 2? No, it won't be. The number will be larger. So I'll be like, fine, maybe I can just place 2 over here. Perfect. I again have a 2. Now, tell me one thing. If I've inserted 2, now I'm again at 2. So the number as of now should be somewhere, be around something like this. Okay. If I remove this and Place a 2. 
Will that make any sense? No, it won't make any sense. So, shall I remove? No, you don't remove. So, what I do is, I place this 2 and I move forward to 1. Now, when I have a 1, I look into the stack. I look into the stack. And the number as of now looks something like this because the stack is storing the numbers. Will it make sense to, you know, have something like this? It'll be like, yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, it does make sense. So, yeah, you'll remove. At this moment, k will be 0. And you're done with all the removals. You have removed whatever you had. You have removed whatever you had. So, I can stop the traversal. If k was, k still had values, I would have removed this as well. But k is done. We are exhausted with the removals. So, once k is exhausted, whatever is left in the number, you'll just pick it up and you'll put it into the stack. So, the traversal is completed. And once the traversal is completed, you pick up all the elements from the stack and you have them stored in some list. After that, you reverse it. So if you reverse it, you get 1, 2, 1, 9 and this is your number and this is what you will be returning. So before getting into the code, let's understand some of the edge cases that you'll have to keep in mind. First of all, uh, k is guaranteed to be lesser than or equal to n. So, one of the edge cases for sure is, what if k is equal to equal to n? In that scenario, we'll end up removing everything. We'll end up removing each and every digit. So, if I end up removing each and every digit, I'll not have anything. So, in that case, please make sure to return a string containing a single zero. Okay. What's the other edge case? What if? What if? After removing and everything, you get a number which looks something like 0, 0, 1, double 0. Is this a valid number? Now, the answer to this is, no, this is not a valid number. Rather, the valid number will be 1, double 0. So, please make sure that you end up trimming off the initial, you know, zeros. Okay. So, there's one more edge case that you'll have to keep in mind. Now that, that is, what if, while removing from the stack, you were not able to remove the given k digits. For an example, if I take something like number equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and k equal to 3. So what will happen is, you will travis, yes you will travis and the stack will always contain smaller elements. The stack will always contain smaller elements. So even if when you are at the element 4, even if you are at 4, the stack will still have a smaller value. The stack will still have a smaller value. So what if after the complete traversal, you haven't removed anything or it's still left over to remove something. In that scenario, please make sure to take off the last like remaining digits. If the stack has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and k is still 3, please trim off the last 3 values because the last values are the largest ones. So you could just take them off. So these are the 3 cases that you'll have to keep in mind while writing the code. So now I'll try to write down the code. So we have a function and obviously we are given a string s. So what is the first thing that we'll do? I'll definitely declare a stack. So maybe I can declare a stack. The stack will be storing characters. We'll have to do a frontward traversal. So we can straight away start from 0. And we can go till n minus 1. Okay, so what do I do? I am at a digit. So I'll have to compare with something which is there in the stack. So we'll, maybe I'll ask the stack, hey stack, do you have elements with you? So if the stack says, yes, I do have, I'll check if I still have k with me. And after this, I'll have to write the conditional check, which is, imagine I'm storing the characters. So it will be stack dot top minus of zero. This will give you the digit value. Now, if this is greater than the string, which is s of i minus the uh, zero, which will give you the digit value. If this is the case, which means, I have a greater number in the stack. So I can remove that. So it'll be like, please remove it. And after removing, 
again do the iteration just in case uh, the stack still has a greater number. It's better to remove it up. But please make sure you do a k equal to k minus 1 because you have removed something. So you'll have to keep a track of that as well. And once that is done, you could head over and do a stack dot push off s of i. Okay, done. After the entire traversal, yes, after the entire traversal, if k is still left, you would end up taking out k uh, k minus minus. Yeah, you'll end up taking out taking it out of the stack and doing a k minus minus. Once everything is done, we end up checking. Hey, is the stack empty? Which means you have taken out everything. Which means you have taken out everything. If the stack is empty, please return 0. Please return 0. So once this is done, I'm assuming the stack will have some elements. So what I can do is, I can take a resultant and I can keep it as an empty string. And I'll be traversing in the entire stack, which will be stack.empty. And I'll be doing result equal to result plus Result plus CS. Yes. Uh, stack dot top. So I'll keep on adding it. And once that is done, I will be popping it out of the stack. So I'll have everything in the stack. But if you remember, there was an edge case which stated, what if there are zeros at the front? Going back to the example, the stack will give you something as 9, 1, 2, 1. So even if there are zeros, it will be these zeros. Please take them off. So what you could do is, you could start, because result is a string. So you could start traversing from the back and you can start trimming off all the zeros that are there at the back. So what I can write is, hey, while the result is still having something which is non-zero and, and whatever is at the end, if that is equal to equal to zero, Please end up just popping it back. Just, just throw it out. So once this is done, you'd have thrown out all the zeros. And just make sure you reverse it because the stack gives you in the reversal order. So please make sure you reverse it. So result will be reversed. The string will be reversed. And at the end, please do another check if the result is empty. If that is the case, Please return a zero. Otherwise, end up returning the result. It's very important to check if the result is empty or not. What if the stack had all zeros? It might have. That might be a case where the stack has all the zeros. And yeah, this will be it. This is the entire code. If I have to analyze the time complexity, this is taking a big of n. And uh, maybe this would end up taking a big of k at the worst possible scenario. At the worst possible scenario. If the stacks didn't remove anything. Okay. After this, we are again doing a stack. Again, a big of n at the worst possible scenario. Maybe this would end up taking, I remember, this would end up taking a big of n if you're popping all, like if it had all zeros. Or this would end up taking a big of n. If like this plus this will end up taking big of n, remember this, this plus this, because you will be popping out some elements and the remaining you'll be reversing. So sum plus sum will be big of n. So I can say that this overall will take a big of n. So thereby a big of n here, 2n, 3n plus k. So I can say that the time complexity is big of 3n plus b go of k. I hope you understood this. I hope you understood this, why both of them are taking a b go of n total. Because imagine, imagine you had something like 1, 3, 1, triple 0. So what will happen is, you will strike off this using this while loop, then you will reverse only this much. That is why overall it will take a b go of n at the worst possible scenario. What about the space complexity? Uh, I'm using a stack, so that is big O of n. And then I'm using another n uh, in order to store the answer in the resultant variable. That's a big O of 2n. 
and this will be the overall time complexity and space complexity for this particular approach i hope you have understood everything so if you have understood everything and if you're still now watching please please do consider giving us a like and if you're new to our channel do consider subscribing to us as well with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye bye